Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this afternoon's guest moderator, editor-in-chief of Fast Company, Bob Safian, and today's guest, co-founder and creative director of Bento Box Interactive, Janelle Pitchford, and Grammy Award-winning singer-songwriter, producer, actress, and philanthropist, Alicia Keys. Hi. How's it going? It's good. You got a crowd here. I know, I love it. Yeah. This is cool. <laughs> and all for Mama May, huh? All for Mama May and Lily. I mean, it's a good thing. It's terrific things. So, what, what are we supposed to do? I don't know, what do you guys want to do? What should we do? You know, she was like dancing and bopping in the back, her head's going back and forth while the music. And she says, this is better, this is better. So, all Yeah, right. I was talking about how the mixes, the particular mixes of the music, they change as you go. And, and the one that actually ended up on the app, I'm happy with. That's what I was saying. <laughs> all right, so why don't you start us off by telling us where this came from? Because Janelle was telling me yesterday that this almost started as a television cartoon series. Yeah, it did. Well, actually, the, the real story is that um, it started, actually, I was in my house with my partner and colleague, DJ Walton, who's right over there. And um, he was telling me about these incredible stories that him and his wife, Jessica Walton, who's right over there, too, <laughs> um, would tell their children. And he was saying how you know they would they would take be able to take them to these different places and how much they were falling in love with it and it was so cool that they decided to write them down. So um, I was really excited about getting into the children's space because I just had a baby. Congratulations! And, well, not just because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that beautiful, oh, very quick. Thank you. Well, it was just at that point ah, I got that I had the baby. And so, you know, when you have a baby, you're starting to think about all the things you want to introduce them to and television shows and everything like that. And so I was realizing how cool it would be to be a part of something where we could allow children to travel to different worlds and different places and hear different music and different sounds. And so as we started talking all about it, we realized it would be so cool to be rooted by this little girl named Lily and her grandmother, Mama May. And so that's kind of where the inspiration began. And then we met these incredible people at Bento Box who understood the vision. And they were like, you know, maybe we shouldn't do a television property or maybe we should do something out of the box. And that's where we started to think about this whole interactive digital book that I like to also call it interactive movie. It's everything, this app. So that's how it began. D um, did you have stories told to you when you were a kid? Is, is, is Lily you? Lily is not me. Is Mama May someone you know? But Lily is... Or someone that DJ knows? Le I think Lily is all of us, you know what I mean? And, and Lily is loosely based on me because of the fact that she has a piano in her room. If she has a piano in her room, she's loosely based on me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, <laughs> and, and, and just there's certain aspects about Lily that we kind of spoke about that are relevant to me growing up. But Lily really is her own Lily. And Mama May is a little bit of my grandmother who we kind of spoke about when we were developing her. But she's everybody's grandmother, you know? She's, she's everyone's grandmother. Everyone has, a, has, fortunately, has had a grandmother, maybe if they've known them, that has affected their life like my grandmother did mine. Well, I... I, I the calling this an app is sort of covering what it is because it's kind right. of a book, right? Right. It's kind right. of a movie. It's kind yeah. of a game, right? right. Uh, Janelle, right. how do you think about what the parts are and how do the parts come out of the stories that, that Alicia and DJ and Jess brought to you? So first off, there's amazing music in this application. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, the stories are amazing, the music's amazing. Um, we've taken really all of the different areas that are media, so music, movies, animation, gaming, and tried to really come up with this new way of experiencing stories. So you're part of the story. Like When I was a little girl, I wish that I could be with these characters and hang out with them and you know learn, really just experience b beyond like watching. And so, yeah. so that you can be part of the story, yeah, right? Yeah. And the story can stay with you. Yeah. And, and you were talking about how, I, I guess both of you were talking about how this is um, something that you can do on your own as a child, or you can do it 
with your parent or your caretaker, that that was part of the thinking about it? Yeah, it's actually really cool because the hub, I mean, hopefully we're going to show you in one yeah. second, but the hub of the whole app is Lily's bedroom. So when you first enter it, you're, you know, you're seeing her bed, you see her piano, well, you see you her. Yeah, see yeah. Should, we, can, should we look yeah, at sure. it? Look at this. So, right, so the hub is where you're saying one where, the, cent where one the center part of the story <laughs> comes? All right, here there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Did you have a purple bed at home? I love the color purple. All right, all right. <laughs> See, little things. Mm -hmm. So there's Lily's room, and when you first go in, you get to hear this awesome piano music, one. And two, you get to explore her room. Oh, oh, hey, oh. Magic. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like that. So should we go over to the piano first? Yes, all right. of course. So let's check the piano out. Get over and here. you're like walking over there. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> so if you want to play the piano, you can. And you can literally touch it, and I the music will come up. You are, you are I'm not going to do it all. You are sitting next to me. I'm not playing the piano with you next to me. Maybe I can play Not Even the King. Okay, that's some people right. so poor they got his money. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can meet me for my next concert here right on that piano. <laughs> and, um, but the cool thing is, as you see, you see the notes as they're written and what's coming up. So that's, that's really great. I love that as aspect, actually. And I right. wish I had that piano growing up. It's a cute piano. And then let's go over to the journal. So that's what I was saying when you're, when you're in her room and you were saying how you can do it by yourself or mm -hmm. with your caretaker. Like last night... Our son, KJ, we open the, the journal, and each, each day you, you can be prompted uh, about a different, a different question that you can write in your journal. So I think that question asked, I'm scared sometimes when? So I asked him, what makes you scared? He was like, um, when the whales come out and the sharks, and then, and so then his dad was like, you, you, whales and sharks have come out on you before? And he was like, okay, scratch that, forget that. I didn't mean that. What I'm really <laughs> scared of is bugs. <laughs> bugs. And so we just started writing it, you know, like I'm scared of bugs. And I mean, I think that it's really cool that you can, <laughs> you can talk about what you're scared of. You know, it can prompt you to now, ask now yourself what, what you're scared of, What's popping up too. up in the corner there on the right? That's um, part of the game, right? Yeah, that's part of the social layer that we have on top of this application. So everything that you do, whether it's in the book, the journal, the music box, the piano, um, it's all, you get rewards for everything that you do. That's um, cool. Love yeah. a reward. Yeah, reward. And, and down there, I love this, like you can change the color of your pens. And like the thickness of it, what you draw. Yeah, so you could draw a bug. This is so Janelle's draw drawing of a bug. I swear I can draw better than this. <laughs> <laughs> but you're creating in here sort of oh. a, whole, a whole world, right? Where there are activities, there's game functions in terms of the way you can track things and show your progress. Definitely. So kids will keep trying to do new things, right? Always, there's always new you, things you coming You have a up. real talent, Janelle. There is a real future here, I see. <laughs> yeah, so this, this, is, right. this is awesome. And the journaling part really means a lot to me. I think that we all you know, need ways to express ourselves. And, and to have that encouragement you know, as, a, as a kid is really important. So I still need to make sure I'm asking myself what I'm scared of, too. So this is super cool. Love bug. Oh, <laughs> There you go. That's really cute, you know. <laughs> Dang. I can't draw like that. So let's go to the, let's go to the, should we go to the book right. or the music box? Let me think. Yes, ma'am. So how old are the kids that you're thinking are going to be playing with this? I mean, I kind of say 6 to 12, but I think that really, yeah. it really flows through many ages and age groups. Because your son is much younger, and well, he was Well, my son's with two, but his, his older brother is our middle son, and he's five. So he's the, uh, he's he's the, bugs, the one he's scared the bug of bugs. Okay. Yes, I'm scared of bugs, too. So um, the music box, which is really cool, and the locket is a really important part of... The reason why I wrote the song Unlock Yourself really came from this locket. And the locket is significant because um, Mama May gives Lily this locket. 
And when she puts it on, she's transformed into a bird. And she flies to all these places that Mama May is telling her about. So in Blue Moon, she's flying to this Native American culture. She meets this girl, Abe, and you'll see her kind of like soar through the sky. So the locket is really the inspiration behind the song, Unlock Yourself. And here in this music box will be all the songs that come with the book. And every book that you get comes with more songs. So that's a really cool thing. So it'll keep populating your locket, your music yes. box. You'll keep having a little playlist. You can and, rock. And these are your songs that are here. They're not anyplace else, right? Oh, yeah. Unlock Yourself is only here. Um, and then th there's these other, these other pieces are like kind of pieces from the music that you'll hear in the book, the score. And also um, should also be uh, um, Follow, the, follow, follow the, moon. the Moon should be in right. there, which it will. Yep. Is it in there? Well, it will be it when will you be. get it. Don't worry. <laughs> when you get it, you'll have Follow the Moon, which is the song that goes along with. It actually populates in after you've read the Blue Moon story. Oh. So, like, yeah, so every book, once you go through the book, yes, it's awesome. You can't just get the music straight up. You got to read <laughs> to get the music. And work for it. <laughs> okay, exactly. I like that. Work that for was it. cool. I didn't know that little tidbit. Thank you. Yes. So don't worry when you don't have the music right away. You like have to read it, and then you'll have it. And so the, the, the music is inspired by the stories, or were the stories sometimes inspired by ideas for the music? How did S so far, the stories are written. There's at least three books, four books, that are written already. And um, the first book is Follow the Moon. So the music was inspired by the story of Follow the Moon, of Blue Moon. Right. Exactly. Yes. So should we go to the book? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Then you head over to your bookshelf. This is my song right here. It is. <laughs> and then as you see, each book will, will, will be able to be, you'll be able to get. But this is the first one you can get now. And the shelf will gradually uh, fill up? Yes, yes. More and more books, more and more songs, more and more games, more and more things. One of the cool things about um, Mama May and Lily is that the voice of Mama May is Della Reese, which she is like the yeah. queen. And there's my pretty little granddaughter, Lily, looking out the back window of her car. Change is in the wind. One of my favorite writers was always fond of saying, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Goodbye, old house. I'll especially miss you, big old's most best oak tree ever. Don't you worry, baby. I'm sure we'll see our friends again. Oh. Tell me much. So, so I, I can see how this could have started as an idea for a cartoon in a show. I mean, you, you're you're telling a story. It's it's running through. the The appeal of doing it this way, as opposed to doing it in a tr more traditional media, what where where did that come from? What why why think of it that way? My personal opinion. Yeah. I feel like this is the future of storytelling, especially for children. Um, these devices, I mean, they weren't available, you know, a couple years ago. And it just, it breaks the barrier of just really being able to get in and, and just experience it on a different level. Um, that, that's my personal opinion on it. I just yeah, I would, and I would agree. I would say for me, it was, and for us, it was interesting because there was like no... F it's like uncharted territory. It's something that it's it's whatever you can imagine you can create here, and that's such a cool feeling. So there's no nothing holding you back. There's no format like oh you can only have 22 minutes of this and it has to break every five seconds with that, you know. And it's for commercial entry here, and it's like you know it's just it's freedom to be able to create a universe, a whole world that you can explore and that can continue to build and grow. So I think it was just unlimited. It was unlimited. Yeah, and especially running through a, a game engine, you're able to update. So, mm. you know, this book is the way it is right now, but, you know, months from now, we'll have more things in it that you'll be able to explore. And it's just, 
more things even in this book, not necessarily yeah. more things. So you could come back and reread the book another time, and there'll be new things that exactly. you'll discover in it. Exactly. So it's a living, breathing, just experience right. for kids Definitely. that is just Bless really you. inspiring. Yeah. Super, super <laughs> beautiful. Don't you love her little suitcase that all her settings are in these little suitcases oh, yeah. with her little iPod? Oh, that is the cutest detail. I love these details. So should we? I can so jump through. Should we jump through? How should we do it? Sure, sure. All right, you I'll jump through. Should we take her to a take? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! I think I know where you got that imagination of yours. So you'll notice through the story as see. she's talking to her, it prompts you to be in Lily's journal and it'll you'll That's color right. things. You're helping the story propel right. as it goes. That's right. Nothing like a good old Mama May story for what ails you. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story of Blue Moon? There once was a young girl who thought she had a problem unto herself. Really? Help, help so you move Mama, it along. Is I, that, I help right? out Mama May. Yeah, uh -huh. there's there's another part that I'll show you where you help the characters kind of through the story. <laughs> this part coming up is actually one of my favorite parts. The little moonbeams. Right, so you can fly Lily around. She's transitioning into a new place. So Janelle, you're actually moving the bird up and down, yeah, right? Yeah, I am. There'll be some, I've actually collected most of the moonstones, so oh. there'll be more of that pop up. I got a little excited. So through the app, you collect these moonstones, and while she's flying through the forest, you're, there's all these moonstones that you're trying to get and collect. But Jeanette played the game already, and she like. Sorry. She, she won it. <laughs> I'm like an expert moonstone collector, yes. The Kitawa people in the village of Wada were celebrating the full moon. A bay, an Indian girl, oh, just about your age, I'd say, was celebrating with her family, honoring the long held tradition of giving thanks to the blue moon. A symbol of new beginnings. So is this, it, will this be the model of all the stories that sort of, you know, Lily as the bird meets kids who are in these other places and sort of follows on their journeys? There we go. Okay, it makes awesome. a loud noise. Yeah. No, but is that right that, that, the, that Lily will follow other kids on their journeys in each of these places? Yes, exactly. Uh, the stories will take you to India, they'll take you to Haiti, they'll take you all over the world, which is actually one of the exciting parts about what I, you know, going back to the original vision and being able to introduce people to different sounds like this one. Her instrument is the river cane flute, and that's the thing that she'll play throughout the story, and that's what you get a chance to get introduced to. I didn't really know what a river cane flute was before we actually explored it for this. And as we move into India and to Haiti, we'll discover instruments that are native to those cultures and, and what, what, what it sounds like and the music that will populate the story will also have that tone and that sound. And then when we move into creating the original songs for each story, we'll utilize pieces of those sounds to create the contemporary music for it. And that's part of my favorite part of it, actually, is that musical introduction to a wider variety of cultures and styles. So each, each book is a new culture with a new instrument, with music that's integrating that instrument and that culture into the, into the song. Yes. You rounded that up so well. <laughs> <laughs> so how many, um, and how many books are there now? Four. Four, four scheduled to, yeah, to deliver through. Yeah, four scheduled to unfold. And so they'll roll out over time? Correct, yes. yeah, the first, the first one is Blue Moon that. Exactly, Blue Moon is available right now. 
right this minute you can download Blue Moon and hear the whole story of yeah. a bay and it's incredible. I mean, it's really a beautiful story and you'll see, you know, her journey and what she's gone through and again, as she's going through it, you're helping her through the process. You're kind of physically actually engaged into moving her through it. There's this game with this where she plays the flute and you have to kind of calm the bear or the, can I the wolf. Yeah, All which right. is, yeah. Well, maybe we'll, if you, if you guys are game, maybe we'll take some questions and see if yeah. anyone has any questions about Let's what, do some uh, questions. what Mama May and Lily are doing. I know that there are microphones uh, over there. So, Wow. I don't know. <laughs> Where do you get that? Yeah. Go ahead. The flute. So the after every book, a different instrument appears in the room, and you can actually jump to certain parts of the book. So this is where we, we run into different obstacles with the bay. Um, the first one is with the wolf, which I'll play, and we'll see a little bit of the flute. Wow, that's another thing that's... So and again, you're using your finger to sort of connect those things. You're the, supposed uh, the to notes, collect, right? collect all the notes and feed them to the wolf <laughs> so he doesn't eat your head off. <laughs> <laughs> I missed one. He's getting calmer. The wolf, yes. Uh oh. Yeah, that's what I usually do. I know. I'm bad. Yes. So I guess Should it I adds stop? up to all it's of the notes. It's hard to make him your friend. <laughs> yeah, he's a. This is a tough wolf. This one. And that was easy. Sheesh. What's hard like? <laughs> we'll just. Yeah. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, it is one of the great things about these devices is they are so intuitive for uh, for young kids to get into, and yeah. you know, and they act with them. They they get involved with them, which yeah. is great. So, oh. all right. So, uh, who's got questions? Yes, go ahead. Raise your hand. And we'll bring the microphone to you. So we have uh, the third row, stage right. Good afternoon, Alicia. I'm Ma uh, Maureen from Vancouver, British Columbia, Hi. Canada. I guess the most important question needs to be asked is how much is it? How much, how is, much the is the app? As far as I'm aware, let's, let's make sure that I'm correct. Oh, I am right. <laughs> I just want to make sure. It's $3.99. $3.99 for, for something that will just change your life and your kid's life. And really, actually, the part I love about it the most is the inspiration that it inspires and the dialogue that it inspires. And, it, and we were talking about it yesterday and kind of how it becomes these things that are in your room that are tactile. Even though it's a virtual room, they're still so tactile. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right over here to your left. To your left, right? Second right row. Um, hi. Hi. <laughs> I just downloaded the app and awesome. um, oh. <laughs> I want to know why'd you make an app for it? I know. Well, first for of all, I, I made an app specifically for you. And that's actually why I made it, because I think that we have so many things to discover and explore. And I wanted it to be a cool way for there to be a, a young girl just like us who's kind of going through different things. And we all go through things in our life. Maybe we're worried about school or our friends or how do we fit in or all these kind of things. And we could tackle and talk about those type of issues. And you could feel like you recognize somebody who's gotten through it and you know that you can get through it. So it's definitely something, so it's, it's for us to be able to like overcome maybe our inhibitions or our fears about things. Oh, thank you. And have Aww. fun. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, that was a great question. Great question. <laughs> right, uh, uh, first row to your right. Hi, um, Hi. I'm Dinah Lee. Um, this is merely for iPad. Will it eventually be for the iPhone? It's, sorry, it's actually, you can download it on your iPhone. So from the, okay. f the, f the four up, you can download it and play it on your iPhone. Woo! Okay, thanks. Thanks. 
Right here in the, uh, the fourth row. Hello, Alicia. Hi. Hello, I'm over here. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm it's like looking at him and looking at you. It's amazing how the universe works, because I had a dream about something like this, and I thank you opening your doors to a new media. Thank you. I'm a writer myself, and I think that um, something like this is what people need to like, see into the future, because like, when you're writing a book or when you have thoughts, you want to yes. be able to like, interact with it. Yeah. And I think this is like a really new way to like make your mind open up to different views, different ways yes. to do things. And with the iPad, iPad 5, I think that people can have new ideas and wow. express themselves in different ways. And as a writer, I commend you because I had a dream about this. I swear. <laughs> I had a dream. And I just think that this is one way for um, people to get new media out there. Thank you. That's an amazing comment. Thank you I so much. Yeah, I love that guy. Yeah. I love that guy. Yes. It's spot on. <laughs> it's spot on. Okay, so. And there's a couple more over here too, but yes. Last row, stage right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I had a question mm. about the, the locket that she has that turns her into a free bird. And I know on your debut album, you had Cage Bird and you, you <laughs> felt like that. Did you pull from your experiences to be like, this is what I would have done if I were a free bird? Mm, I think that's such a beautiful question. Thank you so much. And, and yeah, I think the bird reference is definitely a metaphor, you know, to really setting yourself free and being able to go to places you could only imagine in your mind. I think actually this whole, this whole project is a metaphor to that, which is why when I wrote the song Unlock Yourself, you know, that, that is a personal feeling. I mean, I, I feel that way right now, like to remind myself, to remind my son, to remind my friends, to like be unlocked, to be with no boundaries, to be free to go wherever you could imagine yourself going. And that's, I think, one of the coolest things about this, being able to imagine where you can go and get there and go to these places that maybe we'd never really go in person, but we can through this experience and we can be unlocked. And, and that a part of us will be able to be free from kind of that, that caged feeling. So I definitely feel like that metaphor lives in the reason why you know, that exists in this app. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Second row in the middle. Hi. Hi, Alicia. What's my up? name's Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> That's my friend. <laughs> I wanted to ask, um, have you always wanted to do something for kids, or since having your baby, this kind of motivated you more to want to put out something for children? Yeah, no, I think since having Egypt, that's really what started to bring me into the space. Because before, you know, y you, know you, you see different kids' shows and stuff like that, but you're not as actively in the space or, or seeing how it's inspiring a child or not inspiring a child or whatever. And so I think that it was really during that time and, and this time now in my life that made me see just what a great impact that is and, and, and what a way that can kind of get into the mind of a child and, and what that can do. So I think the more quality things that we have for our kids and for ourselves, you know, really allows us to be like even more incredible. So I, it definitely was from, you know, him. I guess he... He said, Ma, can you make an app for me, please? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ma, can you hook me up? <laughs> Thank you. But you've also, with Keep a Child Alive, I mean, you, with your philanthropic work, you've done a lot for children. You've been focused on children for a long time. You're Thank being you. a little modest, too. Thank you. No, definitely. I mean, children have always been a big part of my life and a big focus of my life and their health and, and progress and, and them being able to live long, healthy lives, for sure. And so, yeah, definitely. I think it just evolves it in this case. OK, far right, as far as stage right. Hi, Alicia. Hi. Uh, my question is, were there any differences in composing music for an app as opposed to like one of your albums? <laughs> um, I, I mean, I think that the soul of it is still the same in the space of like really identifying with the, 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 the conversation, identifying with what the story is and what the feeling is and that kind of thing, and then applying it to myself. Like, you know, when I first was considering what kind of song could go along to be the theme, you know, it was kind of looking through what the themes of Mama Way was and what we were talking about. So the locket and unlocking yourself and how that was such a big part of my life too. And, you know, really finding that way to set yourself free. So that, that I think in a way it's, it's definitely similar. I think that maybe it's a little bit more imaginative because I can go anywhere. I can kind of even be maybe more, um, there's like an innocence to it that I can just really kind of draw on. So, so I think in that way, it almost feels like 
um, like a let go. But I don't think it's too much different, actually. If anything, it's just a little bit more fine tuning it towards each story. So finding the the main concept of each story and how that kind of relates to me to give me a place to start from. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Front row, all the way to the left. Hey, Alicia. Hi. My question for you is, uh, Unlock Yourself is the title of the app. Um, what do you think Mama May and Lily helped you unlock? Yes, Unlock Yourself is the title song for the app, and, um, and Mama May and Lily helped me unlock kind of my memories, you know, my memories from really being able to have such a beautiful relationship with my grandmother. My grandmother was a big, big part of my life, a big part of my growing and learning, and to be able to almost like honor her in the way that she she affected my life in such a positive way through this app is really, really cool. And then also, you know, her, her voice is always inside of me, her, her sayings, her, her lessons that she taught me, and to kind of see how that comes through this and being able to go back to a place where I remember where I was confused about something and what would she say or what would she do for me at that moment. It's kind of cool. So I guess it unlocks my memories and my, my experiences with her. <laughs> Thank you. We have time for two more questions. How about somewhere in the middle, too? One on the end and one on the middle. Because <laughs> they're all lonely and they can't reach the mic. And, you know, they have things to say, too. <laughs> we unlock the middle here. That's so unlock exactly. the middle. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hello, Alicia. I'm, Hi. Uh, I'm Samia. Hi, how are uh, you? I'm from France, and um, I've been a huge fan of you and Keep a Child Alive. Thank and you. I just wanted to ask you uh, about the main characters. They are girls, and I wanted to know if it was intentional, like to inspire little girls mm. to reach for their dreams or, you know, to be more comf uh, uh, how to say, uh, um, comfortable in their own skins yes. and reach for their dreams. Yes, and absolutely. And also, will it be translated in French? Yes. It will be now, yes, definitely. <laughs> yes, no, we definitely plan on translating. Not for my niece. I mean, I'm, I want to, you know, introduce it to my, the, my niece. Yeah. My nephew. And no, we really want to translate into the major languages that would be able to serve most of the world. I think actually that's what's so important. Again, going back to the way that people are introduced to different parts of the world, different music, different cultures. Part of that is about being able to reach those parts of the world too and, 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 and make sure we unlock the language barrier and, and, and so everybody can experience it. And yes, I think that Lily being a young girl and, and for like the first character, Abay being a young girl, I really love seeing young girls as the leads in different stories and things because it does show you, you know, their, the, the way to find yourself and the way to be yourself and the way to be different. That's the other thing. Bay is very different from Lily. She doesn't dress the same. She doesn't look the same. She's not going to experience the same things. But through her, Lily is able to still see a piece of herself. I think that's what makes us so cool, the way that we can relate to each other no matter where we're from. So, yes, absolutely for, en for encouragement, for empowerment of, of all of us, and, and absolutely on the translation. Working on it. I'm here for you. Okay, working we're working on it. On it definitely. Exactly. <laughs> working on it. Get it as in many places as possible yeah. to inspire people. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, right here in the middle. Hi, Alicia. Hey. My name is Sierra, and Hi. I have a question. Mm -hmm. The app is about Mama Lili, I mean, Mama May and Lili, and it's really for girls. And, I, and you have a set, and I have a set. And I would like an app that's for boys. Actually, this is the cool part. I'm so glad you said that, not to cut you off. Did you have more to say? Sorry? Did you have something else to say? Because I no, felt like no, I cut I you off. I just wanted to know if you can, would you think about making something for boys? Thank you so much. And that's a great, great question. And another reason why this app is so daggone fly. <laughs> because and and also like I said our, our five-year-old son played this yesterday and he he didn't feel any type of out of place by the fact that the first character is a bay or Lily he didn't feel like hey this is for girls he kind of just started going into it it's a story but the cool thing about it is that one of the next books is hit the main character is a boy so yes. the boy in India is a young boy. So that's the cool part. It's like we can be able to bring you, you know, to many different lifestyles and people, and he'll be able to relate 
in all different ways so that it doesn't kind of limit it even though this first story is there's there's mama may there's lily there's a bay they are they are three girls but it doesn't limit the fact that there will be boys that will be introduced and they'll become main characters and so i think that's why it's really cool i mean we can have robots in a book you know we can have whatever really sure. honestly no. we can go wherever we want to go so it's really just about the it, it's more about the lesson and what actually, what they end up taking away from it and how that maybe sets them at ease. And then they'll be introduced to it through different, you know, sexes and places and styles and people. Awesome question. Love that you asked that. Thank you. <laughs> well, I just want to say, you know, uh, you were, Alicia, you were on our Fast Company's cover as oh. emblematic of the what we call the League of Extraordinary Women. And what you're doing here and what Janelle is yeah. doing, it's really extraordinary. So congratulations thank and you. thanks very much. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody for coming out today and for hanging out and spending a, an afternoon with us, learning about this new app. I love it so much. It is so full of such quality and goodness. And I really hope you spread the word. Spread it to your school. Spread it to the kids that you know. You can get it as a you know cool gift and give it to people. Definitely download it and explore it and touch it and feel it and get into it and know how it's going to just continue to evolve and hopefully become a part of our lives in so many ways. So thank you for your love. I'm really glad to see you.